In one of the largest settlements after a police shooting, the city announced today it will pay out millions to the family of James Boyd. News 13's Lizzie Mitri has more on how this case changed the public's view of police shootings. Do it. In the graphic and excruciating nature of that footage changed everything. Protests sparked in the streets of Albuquerque last year after this video and this statement from APD Chief Gordon Eden. Do you believe this was a justified shooting? Do I believe it was a justified shooting? Yes. If you follow case law, Garner versus Tennessee. APD officers Dominique Perez and Keith Sandy shot and killed James Boyd, a homeless camper in the foothills. People who are typically invisible, like the homeless among us, became visible, and police violence and misconduct became visible. Boyd's family sued, saying police escalated the situation that led to Boyd's death. Now, more than a year later, the city is settling the lawsuit, paying $5 million to the family. It's the city's third largest settlement for a police shooting, following an $8 million payout for the death of Kenneth Ellis and $6 million after the death of Christopher Torres. So did the city do anything wrong in this case? Right. I think you can always look at police tactical situations and evaluate, you know, what went right, what didn't go right, and uh, what went wrong. And this was a situation where it didn't have a good outcome. But the city says the settlement is not an admission of guilt. The lawsuit pushed for a change of APD policies, and the attorney for Boyd's family says what's happened since the city reached an agreement with the Department of Justice is promising. They're very, very encouraged by the work of the city with the DOJ to protect the homeless in our community. Lizzie Mitri, KRQE News 13. The criminal case in the Boyd shooting is still pending as special prosecutors pursuing second-degree murder charges against APD officers Keith Sandy and Dominique Perez.